please meet Carrie, one of my students who successfully completed that three-day makeover course. Carrie is a charming, smart lifestyle blogger from UK. She has a YouTube channel with over 100,000 followers. So for her, personal style is extremely important because it is a part of her public image. However, before the course, Carrie was a little bit lost in fashion and didn't really feel inspired about her wardrobe. So before I started Diana's course, I would definitely say I was a little bit lost when it came to my fashion. Whenever I opened up my wardrobe, all I would see was black, white, camel or beige. There wouldn't be any colour in there. Because I do a lot of filming and I'm on camera quite a lot, I like to wear colour but I would never wear color because I never knew what to choose. Instead, I would always play it very safe when it came to dressing and that's probably why my wardrobe was so bland. While I was in London, I met Carrie to complete her style transformation and took her shopping. Our goal was to build a compact yet versatile wardrobe, which would not only complement her figure and color type, but would also express her vivid personality, make her super confident about her body and what she's wearing, and also would help her to open new horizons for her YouTube channel. Carrie has a typical pear-shaped figure, very feminine, slightly smaller on top, she's got defined waistline, but would like to conceal her wider hips and make the overall silhouette more balanced and slim. Within three hours, we managed to create a very stylish yet comfortable capsule out of 12 pieces, plus some accessories. So are you ready to see the final result? And if you still struggle to understand which clothes complement your proportions, just go to the link under this video, answer two simple questions about your height and figure type and get a personalized style map absolutely for free. I do believe that every single woman deserves to look absolutely fabulous, no matter her height, figure type, weight whatsoever. This is why I have created a special style map to help you understand how to dress best for your body, which fits work for tops, bottoms, dresses, outerwear, and how to put it all together in the most flattering, complimentary way. I have also included some outfit formulas to help you put outfits together for different occasions. So go to the link under this video, download the guide and use it as a starting point to craft your impeccable style. The first look is pretty basic yet bold and chic. The key technique to balance up Carrie's proportions, the top and the bottom, is the color contrast. So we went for a white tank top, layered it with bold lime green sweater and some chunky jewelry to accentuate the top, whereas straight black bottom in very thin yet dense fabric works slimming for the bottom. Lime green is also very flattering for Carrie's natural coloring, so when she put it on for the first time, she immediately saw the highlighting effect on her face. As for the shoes, to minimize the shortening effect of the light color, we added light in the portrait zone and in the back so it doesn't draw the attention to the feet but makes the eye travel up, which elongates the silhouette. As an outwear, Carrie chose for the cream shearling coat the same I have, which works perfect for both casual and more dressed up outfits. I have also always been told that I should wear autumnal colors, but on my first Zoom meeting with Diana, she said, absolutely not. That is not the colors that you need to wear. So when we went on our shopping trip to London, which was so much fun, she picked out these lime green colors and some greens and some light purples, which I would never ever have picked up for myself before. But when I put them on, they really lit my face up, which has now made me go into shops with a whole whole new set of eyes on when looking for items for myself. Carrie is a mother of two teen sons, so she also wanted her new style to fit in her lifestyle. Like dropping kids to school, walking the dog, doing the groceries. So to keep it comfortable yet cool, we went for this outfit, which is the same vegan leather pants, striped oversized sweater, which can be worn as a sweater or as a scarf, navy blue oversized coat, Nike high tops, and some pop-up color in raspberry beanie. Again, to balance up the proportions, we used color contrast, dark muted bottom and bold striped sweater, whereas navy blue coat not only elongates the silhouette, but also elevates the basics and makes the look more polished and pulled together. To transform the look into more feminine and chic, we just swapped the leather pants for a black silk slip dress and paired it with the same jumper and heels. 
As you see, you don't need a lot of clothes to have a big variety of different outfits. You just need the right items. Slip dress is a very versatile and universal model. As long as you pay attention to the fabric, it should be heavy and fluid enough to cover the folds and imperfections and follow the curves of your body. You can actually wear the dress not only in the summertime, but during cooler seasons, layered with chunky sweaters or cardigan and some chunky boots. I feel like since doing this, it's actually made me appreciate different parts of my body more than I did before. I really like my collarbone area, so I want to focus in the summer months when it's a bit warmer. I want to focus on that area a little bit more because I feel like when that's out, it makes me feel more confident in my body. For a festive season, we went for this beautiful flirty purple wrap dress, which is perfect for pear-shaped ladies. It sits well, accentuates the narrow waist, it's quite fitted on top, but at the same time, because of the split and A-line skirt, it's not too tight around the hips. We paired it with bold emerald green pumps again and beaded purse to add finishing touch to the look. Our fifth look is very smart and elegant, appropriate for the meeting during the day or dinner in the evening, and most important, it is very flattering for Carrie's figure. There are two crucial fits in this outfit. First of all, the most winning silhouette for any woman with wider hips is a boot cut. Trust me, boot cut model does miracles to bottom heavier figures. It elongates the legs, it smoothens the curves, it makes the hips look much smaller, accentuates the narrow waistline. It is a winner and a definite must have for any woman with hips. And the tailored padded single button blazer is another must have piece in Carrie's wardrobe. Because she has quite narrow shoulders and fits small on top, it creates this perfect structured silhouette and balances up the proportions. Striped t-shirt links the top with the bottom, makes the look more modern and less formal, whereas cream shoes and bag complete the black and white combination and add length and structure to the silhouette. To transform the blazer into evening attire, we swapped bootcut pants for sequin straight ones, opened up the cleavage and accessorized the outfit with beaded evening purse and black heeled sandals. Carrie was really determined to come out of her comfort zone and go more fashion forward, so this look is probably the boldest one. However, because of sober black and white combination and elegant long blazer, it still looks very polished and chic and actually feels quite comfortable. I always knew I had a pear-shaped body, but since completing this course, I now actually know how to dress it properly. This is definitely a learning curve, and I know it's going to take me a long time to get used to looking for the cooler spring colors for myself. And also, I still feel like I've got a lot to learn when it comes to dressing my figure just right. Another festive look is a tailored black tuxedo dress paired with green pumps and silver purse. Tuxedo dress is actually one of the most versatile pieces because you can easily dress it up or down by pairing it with opaque tights, for example, and chunky boots and wear it easily during the day. Carrie feels really confident about her legs and wants to show them up, so she's not afraid to go for minis and heels. And actually because Tuxedo has this quite formal, sober, minimalistic look, the overall impression is still very elegant and chic. Going forward, I am super excited to make more fashion content for my channels. Now I know how to dress my figure better and what colors really work for me. I really hope I can inspire some of my followers to take the risk and actually wear some color because it really makes a big impact in your wardrobe. And the last not least is another casual and colorful look with lime green jumper, vegan leather pants, paired with navy blue coat, trainers, and accessorized with oversized scarf and a beanie. In the winter time, when it's cold and gray outside, and comfort and warmth is a top priority, color is a good way to elevate your casual basics and also cheer yourself up a little bit. We opted for cool pastel colors, which work perfect for Carrie's color type, and bring this fresh spring vibe into winter basics, such as black and navy blue. Et voilà, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if this video was useful for you. And I'll see you next week. Bye.